Welcome to our guide on how to pass a modelling test in a private equity interview situation. Are you a potential candidate for private equity roles? It's extremely likely that during the selection process you'll have to prove that you have the relevant financial modelling skills as well as other skills for the job. Unfortunately, a number of very qualified and experienced candidates fail to excel in the financial modelling part of the assessment, which is why we want to help you with this guide. There are a number of reasons why candidates fail to succeed in this test. It can be as simple as time constraints, lack of preparation on the candidate's part, approaching the model in a disorganised or untidy manner, just not knowing what to expect, and lack of basic Excel or modelling skills. Unfortunately, not doing well in the modelling part of the assessment will be a deal breaker and you won't get a job offer if you don't succeed. Our financial modelling guide is designed to boost your confidence for anything that the private equity recruiter might put in front of you. But before we continue, let's warn you. To make the most out of this, you need to be familiar with financial modelling and Excel. If financial modelling and Excel are new concepts for you, we'd advise you to take our LBO financial modelling training course first. So what's included in our guide to the financial modelling test that you may have to take? Compound interest and inflation. You should have a good command of compound interest and inflation as a concept. How to convert any rate to annual, quarterly or monthly, depending on the timeline of the model. Compound annual growth rate. What is it? And how should it be calculated for an annually, quarterly or monthly model. Calculation of the internal rate of return and the net present value. You must have a good understanding of these two concepts and you should know how to calculate them using the following Excel formulas IRR, XIRR, NPV and XNPV. How are the financial statements integrated? This is something that you should be able to master without much thinking. Building a set of integrated financial statements will save you time during the test and you'll be able to demonstrate your understanding of this crucial concept. How to create sensitivity tables using the Excel table function. If you're asked to provide some sensitivities, Learn how this function can save you a lot of time. A very simple leveraged buyout model. Simple concepts are put into practice here with this user-friendly template. And last but not least, we've included two full financial modelling test examples with detailed solutions. One for an LBO and one for a real estate investment. You'll also get full access to one of our modelling experts who will endeavour to answer any questions related to this file or its solutions. If you have any questions at all related to this product, please visit our website www.pecareerscentre.com or contact us on this email address info at pecareerscentre.com. Thank you and good luck with your private equity interview and assessment.